Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we'll be taking a look at the 1064 nanometer 2 watt laser module by Xtool. My recent review of the Xtool S1 was received pretty well here on the channel so Xtool were keen to send me this module to also share with you and give my thoughts. This 2 watt infrared module is an add-on or an accessory to what you typically buy when you get the Xtool S1. It arrives in a small box with a few example materials for you to try out. Installation is very easy and it's the same process you'd follow when installing the 20 watt or 40 watt modules. So what is this module for and why might you want to buy it? Well, this module will be particularly interesting to those of you that are keen to engrave on primarily plastics and metals. The smaller spot being produced by this module really lends itself well to working with small objects like the metal tags and necklaces included here as example materials. That being said, you could also use this module to engrave extremely detailed images onto metal surfaces. One of the first things I thought I'd do is engrave on these necklaces with both my 2 watt and 40 watt modules. That way we could see if there were any major differences between the two. It's worth noting here that these necklaces and tags are made of 3 or 4 stainless steel, which is an alloy and not a raw metal. I've seen a bit of confusion out there where some people are saying that you need the infrared module to engrave on these particular pieces, and that isn't true. All these tests ended up looking really good, but there wasn't a huge difference between the two. The 2 watt module did result in slightly less burn marks and more detail. It's clear that the standard 20 and 40 watt modules are both capable of engraving on an alloy like stainless steel. The only real difference here is that the IR module is capable of engraving finer details, especially on smaller items like jewellery. One great example of where the 2 watt module really stands apart from the 40 watt module is when I try to engrave on a piece of 6082 aluminium stock. I first tried to engrave some text using the 40 watt module and as you can see it didn't even put a mark on the material. While the 40 watt laser module can generate enough surface heat to engrave on alloys like stainless steel, it struggles to engrave on metals like aluminium, copper or brass simply because most of the light gets reflected away due to the operating wavelength of diode lasers. While the infrared module is only 2 watts, it focuses the energy in a way that is more readily absorbed by the metal, leading to a small, highly intense spot beam that can alter the material surface. This can result in oxidation and even colour changes on some metals. This can produce some amazing artistic effects if done correctly. I then swapped out the 40 watt module for the 2 watt module and the results here are very distinct. I went on to engrave a material test array onto the aluminium and as you can see the brightest result appeared to be around 100% power at 160 millimeters per second. To show you a practical example I was able to engrave this image onto a spare aluminium part that I had lying around. This result is very bright and detailed which is something not possible to achieve with a 40 watt module. Something else worth mentioning here is that Xtool have released a brand new tool called AI Make. It's essentially an AI craft design generator developed exclusively for DIY enthusiasts. For example, you can choose to generate different types of designs from simple 2D vectors right up to 3D reliefs. And you're able to do all this just by providing a text prompt. It is a powerful tool, but there are certainly a few things I think that could be improved, like allowing you to invert the images and generate art with unique aspect ratios. This tool is still in beta though, so I'm sure it will get even better with time. So, is this laser module worth the extra money? In terms of its performance, it's great. Everything I engraved looked bright and sharp, which is what you'd expect from a module like this. The question is then, do you really need it? Well, I'd say it would completely depend on your situation and how often you want to work with plastics and metals. Unfortunately, I didn't have any acrylic lying around in the shop here, so I wasn't able to test that out, but I have seen some brilliant results on acrylic from other people. What I would say is that if you're just looking to engrave on stainless steel jewellery like the ones I showed in this video, you probably don't need to buy this infrared module. As I demonstrated here, you can achieve perfectly good results with the 20 watt and 40 watt modules. The IR module will engrave with more detail, but whether that's worth it for you is going to be your own personal decision. If on the other hand, you're really keen to explore engraving on precious metals or other types of challenging alloys, 
then you would probably want to get yourself one of these modules. It might enable you to go the extra mile with your personalization and customization. And this could be something that sets you apart from your competition in whatever business you're trying to run. If you are interested in an Xtool S1 or this laser module, it's worth noting that Xtool currently have a Black Friday sale on and it's a pretty massive sale and you can save some serious money. So if you're interested, I do have links in the description below along with a coupon code so you could save a little extra. And if you use them, I get a small commission at no extra cost to you, which is a great way to support the channel and I'd really appreciate that. If you've got any questions, please leave them down in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer every single one of them. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Hope it was informative and I'll see you in the next video.